So welcome to this video walkthrough on how to use Google Meet with two free Google products to create an instructional video or a screen recording or even a synchronous meeting where you're able to ink on the screen. So what we're going to use is Google Jamboard and Google Canvas, which is a free web tool. So let's jump right into it and get started with the Google Meet. And here we are in the Google Meet. So I'm just going to join this meeting. Now I'm joining this one completely on my own. I don't want any students to be in this one. I could have students if I want to, but this is really a demonstration of creating some instructional video content using Google Meet. Now what I can also do in the bottom corner before I would get up and running is I would start to record this meeting. So now I'm recording the entire process in Google Meet and anything that I do is going to be captured. So now let's get started with the inking process. So there's two different tools that I like to use to execute this task. One of them is built right into Google Drive. That's Google Jamboard, and that's a collaborative inking platform. Now you need to make sure that your Google Apps administrator has turned this on in your Google Drive account. So to access Jamboard, I'm going to More and Google Jamboard. So once this pops open, if you're new to the environment, it really acts like any other Google product. I can share this out if I'd like to and add collaborators. Instead of kind of a scrolling page, I can add multiple frames here. So you can see that I'm on frame three and I'm toggling back to frame one. And now I have my inking tools built in and I can ink right on the screen. So if I were a math teacher, I can start to work through this equation that I might want to solve and demonstrate with my students, right? So I'm just going to clear that frame off. Notice there's other things that I can add. I can add notes so I could have text on the screen if I was kind of not in the math or sciences. And I can always add pictures. So with images, what I could do is insert a screenshot of text and then ink on top of that. And I'll demonstrate that process now. So I'm going to open up the Gettysburg Address, for example. Now I can't insert the actual file, but what I can insert is a picture. So I took a little screen grab of that, and now I'm going to grab that file and drop that into the Jamboard. So this would make Jamboard a, a, an exceptionally usable tool for um, history teachers, science teachers, math teachers. So here we go. And again, consider the fact that I could load this ahead of time onto the Jamboard. Now I'll go into my inking tools and as I'm creating my instructional video with Google Meet, um, what I'm able to do is kind of capture the screen with the recording process and ink on the screen. And that's kind of one of the features that's not there natively in Google Meet, but now we can get that done with Jamboard. So another tool, and I'm just gonna close out Google Meet, that could be really helpful if you don't have access to Jamboard would be Google Canvas. So Canvas is just a free web tool that is basically, it sounds exactly like what it is. It's a free canvas to ink on the web. Now it's tied to your Google account. So what you're able to do is if you return back to Google Canvas, any um, drawings that you've made will be saved in your Canvas account and you will see them here, which would allow you to prep your um, canvases ahead of time and then use them live in the Google Meet. So I'll go to new, a new drawing and you can see here, we have inking tools just like we would with any other platform. And now I can start working through my problem here that I might want to have in the Google Meet um, using a screen share to demonstrate with my students. So that's kind of the process. Now, again, remember that I'm running Google Meet right now and be able to, to kind of demonstrate to my students, I would do a screen share and share Jamboard or share Google Canvas. Now, all of that process is captured if you're working on one device. However, if you want to be able to ink really easily, what I'm going to do is get a second device, get my iPad now joined into this Google Meet. So if my iPad joins the Google Meet, I have the ability to ink on the iPad as if it's a little tablet just for the inking process. And then that's going to allow me to go side by side with me as the instructor and then my um, iPad up as well. So I'm going to get my iPad connected right now. Okay, so here's the next phase in the process. Over here on the live feed, that front-facing video that you can see, that's me in the Google Meet um, on my laptop. What I've also done with my iPad right next to me is I've jumped into the exact same Google Meet. Now on the iPad, which is the screen you can see over to, next to my head over here, I've done a share screen function 
and then just selected share my screen to Google Meet. So now anything that I do on my iPad is being shared to the Google Meet as well. And again, this is all being recorded. Now, in order to go side by side like this, I'm using the kind of grid view Google Meet extension, but that also that grid view is going to be coming natively to Google Meet, I think by the end of the month. So now that we're side by side, what I'm able to do is jump into Jamboard and I'm doing this on my iPad right now, right? So now I'm in Jamboard on my iPad and it's a standalone iPad app. And now what I'm able to do with me kind of providing the instruction or the kids seeing me and you get to see my iPad on the right hand side. So now a little bit easier of a process. Now I'm just inking on the screen with my finger and this would allow me kind of a little more flexibility in terms of the kind of instruction that I'd like to provide. So that's one process that I can work through. And then what I'll do again as well to demonstrate, if you don't have access to Jamboard, that's no big deal at all. Now I'm in Google Canvas and I'm running that on the web through my iPad and that has inking capacity built into it as well. And I'm doing all of the real time inking in Google Canvas on my iPad. So now you can see here as well, I'm on my iPad and I'm using Google Canvas and that allows me to ink on the screen. So if you don't have access to Jamboard as that kind of standalone app, you can always use Google Canvas and this allows me to do the same kind of thing. So I'm working through my math equation, inking on the screen with my finger right now. And then again, um, all of these canvases are saved in your Google account. You could queue some work up ahead of time instead of having to do it live. So this is a really nice option for math teachers, science teachers, art teachers that want to be able to use Google Meet to create either instructional videos or even in the context of a class, be able to ink on the screen. So again, you can do this strictly on one device. So in your laptop, you could just simply do a screen share and open up Google Jamboard or Google Canvas. Or if you have the resources and the ability to have that second device added to the Google Meet and then use the grid view extension, you're able to kind of have a side by side just like I'm demonstrating here. So thanks for joining this video tutorial on how to create um, kind of inking instructional videos with Google Meet. Good luck and I hope this process works out well for you.